Back to that breaking news tonight. Our ABC 17's Mitchell Kaminsky is just getting to that scene of that crash on I-70 in Cooper County tonight. Mitchell, he's joining us now live from the road. Look, we can see a lot of those red lights there on the camera, Mitchell. What is it that you're seeing right now? Now, oh, Megan Lucas, there's not much to see stuck in bumper to bumper traffic right now behind the back of a Chevy pickup truck, but we're actually about 20, a uh, little over two miles from around where that crash is. And right now, according to maps with this traffic, it's taking us going to take us a little over 20 minutes to actually get there. Traffic really not moving and a Cooper County fire spokesperson uh, told us that they have the eastbound and westbound lanes closed off as first responders work on that scene. We've been told it was a tractor trailer that rolled over and there is someone that does have significant injuries. Now you re might remember a few weeks ago we showed you uh, some pretty violent uh, crash of one of these tractor trailers uh, that hit another car on I-70 and according to the Highway Patrol 32 people killed last year while another 490 were injured from August through December. So these type of incidents, unfortunately, not uncommon. They do advise drivers Now we're yet to find out the exact result of this crash. But when you are around tractor trailers, uh, leaving a little bit of extra space, uh, they say for every 40 miles uh, an hour you're going, you should at least leave at least a second between the vehicles. And if you are trying to pass one, uh, make hay because, you know, as we can see, these things roll over, it can cause some damage. We'll give you more updates as we get closer to this scene, but as you can see, still stuck bumper to bumper traffic and not really moving here on I-70. Reporting live in Rocheport, Mitchell Kaminsky, ABC 17 News.